very good afternoon boys and girls and welcome to a very very typical British summer's afternoon it's the middle of August it's great it's flat it's dull it's rainy it's windy so just what it's like in this part of the world my plan black and white photography we're gonna head down to the end of the peninsula at Spain Point find the lighthouses and just hang around and just see what happens there's a chance there is a chance that some of this cloud cover may disappear a little bit more towards sunset so we may get some light a little bit later on in the afternoon but we've got about four hours to kill until then so let's head down to the end let's get hiking let's get walking and hopefully get some really nice photographs from Spain Point today All right, so I finally made it down to almost the lighthouses. I've just been on the berm taking that last photograph that I showed you in the video, but I've stopped on this grassy sort of area. You can see the lighthouse just behind me. It's maybe just a couple of hundred yards across this field. And looking at it, I'm kind of wondering if we can't do something with some light and some shadow and some contrast here. And well, I have this idea in my mind of just a very lighty and contrasty field leading up to a lighthouse in the background and i'm wondering if we can't make that work just a case of hoping and waiting for the sun to peek out from behind a cloud and we may be able to take this photograph so i'm gonna get a camera out of the bag and let's just see what happens we've still got time on our side before sunset so let's take a photograph eh? all right so i'm still in a spot where i think this may work best from there is a bit of a hill area which is going to give a little bit of shadow and obviously the grass and everything and some lighter colors just on the opposite side of this and i really hope this is going to work. So in terms of settings, I'm underexposing this by a stop. So we're at ISO 200, 500th of a second, f6.3, focused on the lighthouse. Hopefully not too much sky in there. And photograph taken. Oh man, I think this is the most sheltered I've been from the wind for a few hours right now it is really really blowing off the north sea i think it's coming from the south which is probably why it's hitting everything so head on right now uh, the next target is the low lighthouse we can see just over the shoulder but i really just need to have a think in a few minutes here just to figure out a photograph that i can't see anybody else would have taken but i've noticed there are some posties down in the water down there and i wonder if i can do something from here with a long lens but it's just going to take a few minutes just to figure that out the tide is on its way out so we're not going to have forever to work this one out but man this wind is battering today it's taken out of me more than the walkers i think <sighs> oh let's have a drink and a breather and a little think So we've moved down onto this beach area and I want you to think of a triangle with its point at the bottom and that is kind of the composition I'm going for with this. There are three, well I assume used to be some sort of jetty, there's two in the water, one out of the water. We have the low lighthouse and the end of the jetty and I'm kind of composing this in a triangle in the middle of the frame with just a lot of negative space around. I have a polarizer on to take the glare off of the sand, I have the 10 stop filter on for the long exposure look. And I also have a three stop graduated filter on just to bring the sky back just a little tiny bit. And we're at ISO 200, F11 and 30 seconds. Here we go. Let's see how this turns out. Yes. 
So for this next photograph, I haven't actually moved the tripod. All I've done is spin the camera around 45 degrees. There is that bunch of posts that I mentioned when we was up a little bit higher on, and I really just want to take a minimalistic long exposure black and white photograph of these posts just going off into absolute nothing. So we're gonna go big with this one. We're gonna go 30 seconds, F10, ISO 200. We're using the same polarizer as before. So I've got the polarizing filter on, just taking the glare off the water, the 10 stop filter for the long exposure look, and the three stop soft egg grind. Just to bring the sky back a little bit. I don't want the sky to be too bright in this one. I just want to even out the exposure with the water because the water around here is a little bit mucky. It's a little bit brown and we can just want to even things out. Here's this photograph. So thank you very much for watching today's video. I do hope that I managed to grab one or two nice photographs from here. It's been a while since I've been out and it's been nice just to get out with the cameras again and come down to my favorite place. I always enjoy sharing Spain Point with you and I hope I managed to find something a little bit different tonight if you did enjoy the video please do give it a thumbs up because it really does help the video it brings new views to see my content if you liked it more than that somewhere below myself there's a subscribe button please do press that if you're new here it really does help me out and really does encourage me to keep doing this so until the next time i'm going to love you and leave you and say peace and goodbye